The first chapter in the series was all about um, using membranes to allow moisture to escape if it should get trapped within construction systems. The whole purpose about allowing drying to occur is so that your system remains durable over time and will last for extended periods and for the whole lifetime of the building. If moisture should get into the construction, then we need to think about how that moisture is going to escape from the construction system. And there's a variety of ways we can achieve that, and that can be through uh, utilising vapour permeable materials along with uh, ventilated cavities, or you can solely rely on vapour permeable materials to, to get that drying potential. Using uh, vapour permeable wraps, for example, will allow any moisture that might get trapped in stud bays or in the timber within the construction to migrate into the cavity, where they can then be ventilated away to outside without damaging effects. Airflow within structures can have both positive and negative consequences. The positive being that um, it allows large amounts of drying to occur within constructions, so they become uh, more durable, more robust, will last a long time. However, with it, it takes large amounts of energy. So air will lead to um, less energy efficient buildings or uncontrolled airflows. So the, the cavity dimensions and the configuration of the cavity play an important role in how much airflow you will get through the cavity. Increasing the airflow through the cavity will obviously increase the drying potential, drying rate of the cavity. And you can increase this by um, changing the configuration of the bottom openings and top openings on a cavity. And when used in conjunction with certain configurations in the construction makeup, you can use the permeance of building products to drive water vapour to the cavity and then the cavity will drive off that water vapour and expel it to the outside air and therefore you won't have any damage occurring within the construction. Cavities are not always ventilated. Ventilation will promote drying but it will also possibly lead to energy inefficiencies through uncontrolled airflows within construction systems. So therefore, if we take a ventilated cavity and turn it into a non-ventilated cavity, we can improve the thermal performance of our construction system. But therefore, we've dry, lost our drying potential and we need to think about, well, how is it going to dry other than using that air movement? So we can use vapour permeance of all construction materials within that makeup to drive water vapour through the construction to outside. Mm -hmm.